is the positive two digit integer n less than 40. Statement number one tells us that the unit digits of n is six more than the tens digit. So for example, the number could be one, seven, it could be 17, because seven is, is six more than one. It could be two, eight, it could be 28, it could be three, nine. But then after that, the digits are too big, so we can't go any higher than that. So it could be one of these three numbers. Now, fortunately, all three of these numbers are less than 40. So whichever one of them it is, we know we can answer yes to the question. Yes, whatever n is, it is less than 40. So this statement by itself is sufficient. Statement number two is a much harder piece of information. Statement number two tells us that n is four less than four times the unit digit. So let's say the unit digit is b. If we take four times b and subtract four, that will equal n. Well, we have to run through the digits and see what's possible. So for each of the digits, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, we have to quickly multiply by 4 and subtract 4 and see if we wind up with the same units digit. 4 times 0 minus 4, negative 4 doesn't work. 4 times 1, 4 minus 4 is 0. 4 times 2 is 8, minus 4 is 4, doesn't work. 4 times 3 is 12, minus 4 is 8, doesn't work. 4 times 4, 16 minus 4 is 12, doesn't work. 4 times 5 is 20, minus 4 is 16, doesn't work. 4 times 6 is 24, minus 4 is 20, doesn't work. 4 times 7 is 28, minus 4 is 24, doesn't work. 4 times 8 is 32, minus 4 is 28. So that ends in a unit digit of 8. So that's one that works. 4 times 9 is 36, minus 4 is 32. That doesn't work. So the only one that actually works is if the unit digit is 8, and that would mean that n would have to equal 28. And if n is 28, it's definitely less than 40. So this statement is also sufficient. Both statements are sufficient, and the answer is D.